Hello and welcome to Exmoor, and a massive thank you to everyone who has taken part in our Exmoor Wild Watch campaign on iNaturalist this year. We've just had our 4,000th observation added, and this year we've had 286 people take part. These have been locals and visitors alike, and together they've recorded 1,155 different species. I'm here on the edge of Winswood Hill at the moment looking for fungi like these ones that we can add on to the system, but more on that in a moment. Firstly, I'd like to take a quick look at some of the records we've had over the last few months. We've had lots of invasive species recorded by our Exmoor non-native invasive species volunteers. That's a mouthful. And these have included things like skunk cabbage, Himalayan balsam, Japanese knotweed, Mombrisha, and actually, Piers, we've got two different species of Mombrisha growing on Exmoor. Now, these have all been added onto our database, and we can start working out our priorities for the best ways to control them. Some of this work has already started. Now, in better news, we've also had quite a few sightings of adders. We'd be particularly keen on any more sightings of adders over the next few months. Now, in theory, adders should be hibernating from October onwards, but there have been reports of them staying active all the way, year, all the way around the year. This can cause all sorts of problems for them with a lack of food during the winter, so we'd love any observations between now and next May so we can see how active they are when they go into hibernation and when they come out of hibernation again in the spring. You can do this anywhere in the UK, not just on Exmoor, by using the iNaturalist app. We've also had lots of butterflies like this peacock butterfly and lots of fertilities as well. Now, the best news of all, the autumn is here, the rains have come and the fungi are on their way. Now, these are going to be much easier to photograph but much harder to identify. So here's a few tips on getting good observation photographs. We need a photograph showing the scale and growth pattern. Are they growing in a clump or are they growing by themselves? And to see them from a few different angles. The top of the cap, the underside, where the gills attach onto the stem, and also where the stem attaches into the ground or to whatever it's growing from. Also in the notes you can add any distinctive smells and also what trees or plants they're growing by. This doesn't really have much of a smell and it was growing underneath a beech tree. We particularly love records of wax cap fungi like these ones. These are brightly coloured little fungi that grow in the grassland and if you're out and about on Exmoor this autumn and you manage to get some photographs of them, we'd love you to put them on to the Exmoor Wild Watch project on iNaturalist. We we'll hope to see you up here looking around on Exmoor. Speak to you soon.